Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this podcast. This is Coach Mona, the host of the Motivations Podcast, and welcome to day four. We are going through my book, um, ten, the, the, <laughs> the Ten Commandments of Purpose, Achieving God's Plan for Your Life. And so let's get right into it. Happy Happy Friday. Today is Friday. Um, so we're super excited, thanking God for the weekend, for the weekend. And we have some warm weather here in, in the Chicago land area. Um, so come on in, make sure you comment below, say hello um, if you're here live. So I will be able to come back and shout you out if I see your name. Or let me see, somebody just said something. Okay, that that's just Facebook. Um, or if you're watching the replay, definitely comment below. Um, let us know um, how, what are you getting out of each day. Um, God gave me this um, book idea in 2016, I believe, 2016. And so we're super excited to bring revamp it with a new cover. And um, we made it into a quarterly book as well. So you can go back each quarter, four times a year, and refresh, refocus, realign on your purpose through these 10 days. So you can be begin each quarter, set aside 10 days of each quarter to um, go back and revisit purpose. Um, okay, we lost connection. We're back. And we, we explained in the first and second day, purpose is the reason why something um, exists. Purpose is the reason why you and I exist, why God created us. And remember, we said it doesn't matter your circumstances. All that matters is that you're here and God has a plan for your life. And God has a plan um, for your life right where you are right now, wherever you are stationed, wherever, whatever hats you wear, uh, that is part of your purpose calling. Um, so again, Coach Mona here with the Motivations Podcast. So let's get to day, day four, commandment four. Commandment number four. You shall affirm self daily. You shall affirm self daily. Um, scripture verse, Psalms 139, verse 14. Reading from the King James Version. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. So God wants us not only to pray, be thankful, speak positive words over our, our life, but he also wants us to affirm ourselves. Positive affirmations that we speak over our life, they bring victory over self-sabotage and negative thinking. And it's even important for us to, to affirm not just ourselves, but others. And I believe it's important to affirm ourselves because there are a lot of times when we don't get the affirmation that we need or deserve. So sometimes we have to just encourage ourselves, correct? And so we want to set aside today, there's an interactive page for us to write out positive affirmations and they are called the I am statements. So there's a page for us and I will do once I'm off of here to write what is your I am for today? How about, let's do this. Let's interact on in the comments. So I put one out here. I read it from the scripture. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And then I can give one a, a different one. And then as we come in and watch the replay, give us a, a, at least one or two I am's um, for today. We'll come back and everyone can read and be encouraged and affirmed on today. Or whenever we read this. I am enough. I am gorgeous. I am awesome. I am me. I am me. So any positive affirmations, let's do our I am statements and let's share some in the comments today. I would love if you would do that for today. And again, Commandment four, you shall affirm self daily. Let's read our purpose prompt in this day. It says, write your affirmations on the following journal pages, which I already explained, and then transfer them onto a post-it note and stick them on your mirror in the bathroom and recite them daily. So 
basket, grab your post-it note, sticky note, write them out and affirm yourself daily. And we will um, be back here on Monday, right? We get the weekend off. We'll be back here Monday to finish up our last five days. Remember each day, the following day, we begin a new day, a new commandment and the old commandment is uploaded to the podcast. So the link, um, I'll put post the link here in the comments for those who want to go back and listen on the podcast. So super excited and want to remind you, we have our annual eight. Um, annual Women's Work in the Vision Conference. It will be in Georgia. We want you to s- sign up for the wait list so you will be notified when registration begins on next month. And um, let's not forget that I did my first book collaboration with a, a Women Work in the Vision. Um, women, our cohort, um, we had 20 awesome women plus myself. We did um, pull off a 21-day devotional, Women of the Bible. 21 day devotional from 21 women of wisdom and faith so grab the book it's available on amazon as well this was a, a, a awesome uh book of love that we did uh do so make sure you get the book and um we will see you on monday morning have a blessed uh weekend and we will talk to you soon remember comment even the replay viewers comment your ims on in the comments toodles <laughs>